We're on. Television City in Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one hundred thousand dollar pyramid. Today's special guest TV stars from Orioles commentary on Baltimore Orioles television, it's Steve Kowalski. <laughs> And from the Mario Party Files, the new show on the CBS network, Justin Bowling. <laughs> and now here's the man who always makes it to the top of the pyramid, Mr. Matthew Basiolis. Thank you, JVD, for the very great intro. Thank you, JVD, for the great intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the season premiere of season number two of Pyramid. But before we get underway, first of all, I have my Saints, I have my Skype guests and Corey, uh, Rodney, Kyle, Steve, JVD, and Justin, and What's Alex up, Panther. Hello, hello. And today it will be Steve and JVD as the returning champions with uh, thirty-one thousand two hundred fifty dollars in their pockets. And before we get started today, I would like to make an announcement. They are the returning champions, even though they had to wait quite a while because we had to do the Tournament of Champions for that. And the winners of that were Aubrey and Justin. So let's all give Justin a quick congratulations since he's the returning player. They won over three. They won nearly $3.2 million from the regular first season. But anyways, let's get started with this. The first thing I want to say also is that we're going to be raising the stakes here for this, folks. A perfect 7 out of 7 is not only is not going to be worth $10,000 anymore. I'm actually going to make it a worth an additional 20,000, and if you do it twice, you'll get up to you'll actually get up to 40. Actually, no, I take that back. It's going to be another 25,000 added to you and another 25,000 will be added to the pyramid bank. If you do it two times in a row, that's 50, and a perfect score gets you $75,000. Mm. Mm -hmm. wow, and the Pyramid Bank, rather, stands at $225,000. But if the person, but if the winning team does not make it, we're going to raise the bank by $50,000. Mm. So just a little extra added, just a little... Raising the stakes, if there's any added pressure, don't feel it. Because there really is no pressure. Yeah. No pressure at all. Yeah. Nope. Let's let the bank rise. As, let's, let, let's try to see if the bank will rise a lot. But anyways, we're going to reset the... We're, we got the Pyramid Bank at $225,000, as I said. And we're going to stick with that. And then once... And once somebody wins the jackpot, we're going to reset it back to $100,000. But anyways... Enough of that. Enough of those announcements. Are you guys ready to play? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Yep. Corey, let's check out our six subjects today. And there they we go. Are. We have I Dream of Genie, You're All Wet, <laughs> The Road to Ruin, On the Bandwagon, Know Your Niblets, and Haven't You Seen It? And it should actually be S E E N. Yeah, it's a little bit better playing on the playing on the theme of that category. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's still the same thing. We also have a Seven Eleven on the board, and JVD and Steve, you are the returning champion team from season number one, so you guys get first dibs. What would you guys like to start? I'll let you pick it first, Javen. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, you're all wet. All right, you're all wet. That's what I was leaning towards too. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and pause this right quick, and I'll go ahead and PM who on this one. Got it. Steve is giving for JVD and Steve, and Justin is giving for him for himself and Rodney. You're all wet, Steven. You'll describe for your partner these things that travel on water. These things that travel on water. All right. Yep, so Let JVD, as as turn you back. I'll pause it. All right, I got him. So as soon as the, so as soon as the me uh, meeting is... back up the Skype call first. There it is. And once Bring this back into view. Oops. One moment. There we go. Okay, you guys have 30 seconds, and like Corey said, you are to des and Steve, you are to describe to Jonathan things that travel on water. The clock will start when you give the first clue. Once uh, again. Try not to get too descriptive or give an illegal clue, or you'll hear the... Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Okay. 
And everybody, please be quiet. I would only like to hear Steve and JVD. And once again, you are to describe, Steve, you are to describe to JVD things that travel on water. The clock will start when you give the first clue. Things that travel on water. Ready? Go! The famous saying, Noah's Ark. He's a person who dresses in white and wears a little hat. Huh? A snapping turtle. He wears a little eye patch. All right. You ride uh, big waves with us. Surfboard. You row in this thing. <laughs> Kayak, canoe. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna. I I can't give a clue for this one. Shoot. Um. Tank. Um. Uh. 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 A lower form of a boat. Uh. Where you stand on it. Raft. Nope. How about this? When you when you break down a person's door, you blank oh. in. Oh, right. Barge. Barge is in. Barge in, yep. Yeah, I couldn't think of a good clue for that. Yeah, you let yourself fall into a trap on that one. Yeah. But that's, yeah. right. well, that's all right. You guys yeah, got, six. got six. So, Pyramid Bank stays at 225000 And we now go to Rodney and Justin. What do you like, Justin? Maybe the road to ruin. Okay, the road to ruin. All right. All right, the road to ruin it is. It. Justin will be given the clues. Okay. Justin, for this one, the road to ruin, you will be describing for your partner these things that are destructive. These things that are destructive. Okay. And once again, and Ronnie, and Ronnie, is your back turned? Yes. Okay. Once you guys have chosen the road to ruin, and. Justin, you are to describe to Rodney things that are destructive, just like Corey said. Things that are destructive. You'll have 30 seconds, and the clock will start when you give the first clue. You need six to tie Steve and JVD, but we want you to get seven out of seven to add another $25,000 to the Pyramid Bank for the winner circle. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. Once again, Justin, things that are destructive. And the clock will start when you give the first clue, like I said. Once again. All right. Things that are destructive. Ready. Go. Not a tornado, but hurricane. Mm -hmm. It's not like a butterfly, but it's, uh, you see this at night? Um, got it's a, a firefly. Pass. Right. TNT is dynamite. Yes. Pass. Yes. A famous song by Alice Cooper. I don't know Alice Cooper. When you drink this, it makes you die. A poison. Yes. Litter or uh, waste time. Mm. Um, smog in here is a type of pollution. Yeah, and the one you passed you on. You did not get. Last the war. The war. That's it. Yeah, and the one that you passed, the ones that you passed on, Rodney. The answer was moth. Moth was the answer. Oh, I was hoping, Justin, you would say this creature is said to bring good luck. Or eat your clothes. Okay. Yeah. And the one that you also passed on, it's another word for a cicada. The alternative cicada. to cicada, a locust. No, it's a locust. L-O-C-U-S-T. Oh, or a plague of these bugs. Yeah, I never really heard. I don't remember hearing of one, or do I? All right. Six to three, and we now go back to Stephen JVD. We still, we still have that 7-Eleven out there. Steve and JVD, uh, what do you guys feel like? I think I know where it might be. Alright, which one? Winka do do. No, um, Scooby Doo Weekend 2? Alright. I dream of Genie or Have You Seen It? I don't know which one now. Well, honestly, I'm leaning towards Have You Seen It, but. Alright, we'll go with that one. Okay. Haven't you seen it? Go with Have You Seen It. Alright, not there. Haven't, haven't seen it, okay. Sorry. All righty. Steve, for this one, you are to describe on Have You Seen It? Movies, these famous movies of the 90s. Yeah. Ooh. All right. And by the way, may I ask, Corey, Corey, since the, since this, uh, just like before with, if you're naming, like, celebrities, or is, is it okay to give the first word? Uh, let me double check on that. Hang on a minute. Let me bring the cheat sheet back up. You're allowed to give the person's name starring in the movie, you just can't say the answer. Okay. Right. All right. 
What about a character name? Is that okay too? Character name is fine as long as you do not say the don't movie say, answer. Just don't say the title of it. That's fine. Just don't say the title of the movie answer. That's fine. You can give character and names. Do whatever you want. And description of the movie. And description. Alrighty, Matt. They selected. Uh, Haven't, Haven't you seen, seen it? And, and you for are. That one. They'll describe these famous movies of the '90s. Okay. So once again. So Steve, you are to describe to Jonathan movies of the 1990s. Movies of the 1990s. And the clock will start when you give the first clue. I hope you guys can do this. But we'll, but we'll be guys, understanding. Thanks for this one. Just in case, if you have any questions or quibbles, you can say character names. You can say anything you want, just as long as you do not give the movie answer up, uh, that is in the clue. Yes. If I land to it by sea, apparently they're going via the sea. Right. Okay, you guys ready to go? Yep. Okay, right. once again, movies of the 1990s. The clock will start when you give the first clue. Ready, go. It stars John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson. Pulp Fiction. Yes. Pass this one. Mm -hmm. Pass. Mm -hmm. This is a famous movie about dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. yes. This is the famous ship that sank. Titanic. Yes. Uh -huh. Simba. The Lion King. Yes. Uh, this is, um, it's a, it's on Halloween, and somebody wears a hat and has a broom. Blair Witch. Yes. yes. Yeah, we'll give it to you. That's it. All right. And the ones um, you passed on were Steel Magnolias. I and have a, not seen that movie, unfortunately. Sorry. Steel Magnolias and American Beauty. I haven't seen either one of them. Yes, yeah, sorry. No, you made Neither the right decision in passing them both, wait, so you picked up the other Steel wait. Magnolias is with, uh... Oh, I've seen them both. I'm sorry, I've seen them both. Yeah, I, just, I, know, I know who's in Steel Magnolias, I just couldn't think of, like, description. Oh, okay. Okay. And you could have well, you made the smart there. decision, though. You picked up the other ones and got through the category regardless. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Justin and Rodney, take your pick. 11 to 3, and we can now go to Justin and Rodney. What do you, what do you feel confident with, Justin? So I have that 7-Eleven out there. I don't know. I don't know if I Dream of Genie is about the show, because if it is, I really haven't seen it. But maybe if if not that, then maybe on the bad, uh, the bandwagon. Let's try it again on the bandwagon. On the bandwagon. On the bandwagon it is. And nope. there you go. Okay, okay. There, it is not so there it is either. Still lurking. I need these places where a band plays. Ooh. Ergo, these are where a music band would play. No. Alrighty, Justin, you'll describe for your partner these places where a band would play. Ergo, places a band would play. Uh huh. Right. Okay, you guys have three. You guys need at least. You guys need at least some, six or seven. Yeah, to at least stay in contention. Otherwise, if it's. Otherwise, if you completely bomb this one, Steve and JVD have this already. Okay. Right. Anyways, on the bandwagon once again, Justin, you are to describe to Rodney places where a band plays. You'll have thirty seconds, and the clock will start when you give the first clue. Once and again. Six seven, or seven at least six, at the minimum. Six or, yeah, six or seven. Yeah. So I hope you guys can so I hope you guys do well. Anyways. Gotta get up to five at least to have a, a chance. But anyways, well we want you to get seven out of seven. The pyramid bank's still at two hundred twenty five thousand dollars. But anyways, describe to Rodney places where a band plays. Ready. Go. Not a stadium, but a concert. Uh the thing that's below the concert on the floor. Uh, the stage, the yes. platform. Yes. You get you get a diploma at this. Graduation. Yes. Johnny Carson. Comedian. Uh, Dave, uh, David Letterman. Uh, Late night talk show. Keep going. Talk show host. Not today, but okay. Pass. Show. Got it. I heard it. Not a bar. But Time. Took a little bit uh, of that one ate you up. The yeah, I show ate you up on time. And January twentieth is blank day. Yeah, inauguration. Yeah, inauguration day. The others were club and New Orleans and stadium. Uh huh. Okay. Eleven to six. We still have that seven eleven on the board. And Justin and Rodney, you guys are trailing, so you guys get the pick. What are you thinking of, Rodney? I think we should go with no your niblets. Know your niblets, alright? Alright, you guys going with that? Yes. 
Let's do that. There Boom! Is. There you go. Oh, 7 wow. 11. Fine. Well, well done. Good job. Alrighty, so it's going to be the same order for giving here, correct, Justin, or do you want Rodney to give? I think we're supposed to give for. I think I'm supposed to give for all three turns, right? It's usually on the show, it's uh, when the team's trailing for the last two categories, they decide on who gives and who receives. Yeah. Hey, uh, Justin, let's switch it up. Let me give this time. Okay, maybe I'll do better here. Okay. Yeah. So who do you want to give and receive on this one? Uh, we'll let Rodney give. Okay. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and... Okay, you guys are the 7-Eleven. You guys are playing for $1,100 extra. And like Corey said, you guys... And this time, Rodney will be given this time. You guys need five to tie and six to take the lead, but we want you to get seven out of seven. It may right, not be... back turn for the screen, Justin? I can't see. I just have my uh, back on my, by, by my computer screen, but I can't see it. All right, good. All right. And it may, not be for, it may not be for a win, but at least it's for momentum. Okay. But anyways... And some money. Yeah. You guys can at least get, the con get a consolation prize. But anyways, once again, you are to describe to... And Ronnie, you are to describe to Justin things associated with corn. C-O-R-N. Things associated with corn. The clock will start when you get the first clue. You need five to tie, six to take the lead, but we want you to get seven out of seven. So okay. good luck to you. Okay. Once again, things associated with corn. Ready. Go. Corn on a what? Hog. Yes, it's what Paula Dean likes a lot of. Uh, fields, uh, flour. Not quadrant, but... Keep going, keep going. Fire, fire. Yes. Uh, a good, uh, you put ribs on this. A ribs is another form of what? A, 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 a steak? A yeah, steak. I heard it, I heard it. Alright, um, a movie snack. Popcorn. Yes. Corn cream comes in this. Fields. Pass it. Alright. What do you get when you, uh, before you have, uh... Time. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Justin. The a other small, one... small piece of the, uh, popcorn is this before it's popped. It's called this, Justin. What was it again? What's the little, what's the little seed of a popcorn? The husk. Bottle? The husk? Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, Colonel. Colonel. Or blank or hockey. Or it's like Harlan Sanders. Yeah. And the one before that, Ronnie, I was hoping you would say what a celery is. A vegetable? A, no, a single celery. Uh, a bunch of celery and together is called a... Oh. Or when what you... What was it, Justin? What was it? I think he said stock, right, Justin? I said stick. No. no stick. It was stock. It was stock, yeah. Or you could say, when someone is secretly following somebody. Right, I didn't oh, think of that. Oh, stock, like stalking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like we lost this one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. The Unfortunately, the 11 to 10, you guys missed it, so we have just one. That's I Dream of Genie, and it goes to Steven JVD. Uh, who's going to give on that one? Are we allowed to change it up? Or just... Yeah, you are, because it's the last two categories. You're allowed to uh, decide who gives and who receives on that one. No, it, it's fine. I'm going to watch something like this. Um, Alrighty, so Steve will um, give. Alrighty. Yeah, because he's going to give in the winner circle. There we go. And it's 11 to 10, but we want a perfect but we want a perfect 7 here, folks. You guys watch this 3 p.m. on Sunday, June 29th, 2014. What's that? Do not pause your camera, please. I'm going to send J Van the stuff for the winner circle right quick. Alright. Alrighty, folks, hang on for one second. Let me go ahead and click on J Van. There he is. Uh, Oops. Six. There you go, J Man. Um, you got him? Uh, hold on, wait a second. Okay, here we go. All yeah. right. All right, J Man has the winner circle categories. Alrighty, Steve, That's... you got your stuff for this round. All right. All right. And once again, Steve, you are to describe to JVD things associated with genes. The clock will start when you get the first clue. That's J E A N S. Anyways. Let's hope we can get seven out of seven at least and raise the pyramid bank. But anyways, anyways, you guys ready to go? All right. Once again, things associated with genes. The clock will start when you get the first clue. Things associated with genes. Ready. 
No. Go. The colored jeans usually are blue. Uh huh. When um they're like um when they're hurting you like in or another word like when they're hurting it's you. Yeah. Yes. Um, they wear hats and they ride horses. Cowboys. <clears throat> she was a she's a model. She did like for Calvin Klein. Oh um, book shields. Uh huh. This is a brand of jeans. Levi. Yes. Pass this one. Fashion. Model, designer. Another one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's it. The one he passed on. Um. When it's that? when it looks a little bit lighter. When an image looks a little lighter. When you spill bleach on your pants. Or when it's starting to get dark or something. It's starting. To... Fair or fade? One of the two words. Yeah, fade. I heard it. Fade was the fade. one. But that's okay. Fade. But that's okay. You guys won again, Steve and Jonathan. Seventeen total. Smash. Survive. Nicely done, guys. Congrats. Can we see it? And the bank will stay at two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Reverse boom drop. I like it. That's gonna be a bitch to fucking do. Jack Swagger wins. I'm gonna stand up and say. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. All right, camera still going? Yeah, it's going now. All right. Alrighty. Congratulations, you guys. You guys have. Uh, Made it to the winner's circle for a fourth time. Wow! And you guys are playing for $225,000. He turned a bad situation into a good one. You see this replay. 200, okay, and you guys and JVD, I understand you are going to give for the winner's circle? Yep. Alright. Alrighty. Go ahead and collect your thoughts right quick, guys, because Javan already has the categories as soon as this clock hits zero everything will begin as always try to remember don't get too descriptive give anything synonymous or otherwise you're going to hear a buzz or matthew will let me know yeah and Alrighty, no prepositions can't use your hands second. and so i hope you guys can zero, go through we'll all six subjects go through all six it's the winner <laughs> circle bank of 200 and a quarter thousand dollars that is correct all righty here we go as soon as the clock hits zero, we will begin. Alright. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay. Good Here luck go. to you. Okay. Are you guys ready to go? Yep. Okay. It's from 11 to 16, right? Oh, like 11 is the $50 clue, 16 is the $300 yeah, clue. Yeah, there is. Correct. That's what the thing formats it as. Okay. All right. And once again, you guys are playing for 225000 If you guys don't make it, it goes up to 275000 So I hope you guys can do it. So I feel good about this. I want to give this away. So good luck to you. Take a deep breath. Okay. Silence everybody, please. Okay. The clock will start when you give the first clue, Jvan. Good luck to you right. once again. Okay. For $225,000. Here is your first subject. Go. Rap, rock, types of music. Mm -hmm. I'm an undercover agent per se, and I really don't want to get caught for espionage. What a detective says? Um, what a cop says? I don't want to be caught for espionage. What a I, uh, criminal would say? I work undercover. What a felony? Um, Pass. Next. A rubber ducky. Things you take in a bathtub? Yep. Um, a cowboy. The horses. In the Wild Wild West? No. Um, the cowboys, the horses. Thank you. Um, the thing. house itself. Um, Things in the pass. Western? No, pass. Next. A fishing pole? Things you use? A shepherd's pole. Time. Damn. Uh, a fishing pole's curve. Uh, another clue. 
a fishing pole, uh, a fish, a fisherman's bait. Thank you. No, not use. Um, a fisherman's, uh, bait, a candy cane, a fishing pole. Things that are, things that are long. Or? The fishing pole. Peter Pan's curve. nemesis. Um, Captain Hook. That's yep. the one. Oh. All things, that. Thing, all things with a hook. Things yeah. with a hook, yep. Oh. Uh, the last one here. Um, yeah, Roddy. Okay. I have a question. Back. Yeah. Um, is espionage synonymous with spying? Yes. It was synonymous? Yes. I didn't... Oh. 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 I'll check that afterwards, but... Can, if, if you're a spy, you can be caught for espionage. All right, so that should have been a zapper, correct? Uh, or, yeah, yeah. Probably should have. I didn't. I thought that was a good clue, nonetheless. But it was what a spy would say. Yeah, regardless, no. uh, it didn't matter anyway. So yeah. 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 No, that's actually that was a legal clue that I gave. Oh, it was. Okay. Well, but, yeah, that legal clue. Yeah, but like on the show, um, they said no phantom. Can you really just do that? Can Ball just... check. Oh. Okay. And the one, right. the two hundred dollar, the two hundred dollar one, um, um, the house, the horses, the bulls, a cowboy, a salad, wife, a salad dressing, Hidden what? Valley's dressing, uh, salad dressing, um, Hidden Valley's dressing, a cowboy, oh, oh, ranch, yeah, yeah that's, wow, that's a good clue, Corey. I, yeah, go I, I didn't know if I would be able to use it. Oh, I don't think it was that descriptive. His it, valley's it, dressing. This things. Well, the, the, the category here is things on a ranch. Well, Hidden Valley is ranch dressing, and it's yeah, made it on a ranch, so. Yeah. Uh, and the, the last, last one here. Um, and the last okay. one, three hundred. I would have said Aladdin's magic lamp. Yep. Did you think you rub it? Yeah. That indeed. You're wow. Sh you're schlong when you're masturbating. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my! That would have been a legal clue. That would have been a legal clue. Of course. That would have been a legal clue. I know it. They done worse stuff than that on Pyramid, pyramid uh, Game Yeah. There's been, uh, there's yeah, been descriptions of boobs and a whole bunch of other stuff. In yeah. There, so it's not that far fetched. Yeah. But anyways, two hundred dollars from the winner circle. So you guys have thirty one thousand six hundred fifty dollars. And the Pyramid Bank will be raised to 275000 so we'll just try again next time. And for now, until we see Steve and Jonathan again, this is Matthew. So long. Nice going, guys. Bye, <laughs>